Welcome, Rimrims, back to the adventures of Maya Ohm. And you join him preceding the wedding of Jester and Bare Minimum. Congratulations, Jester and Bare Minimum. Today is probably going to be a uh, uh, low energy, lo fi Rimmel to study to. Oh. <laughs> Ah. Sorry, so like I was saying before I was interrupted by a meteor storm, today's probably going to be fairly low energy because I'm ill. But Om doesn't get a day off. I don't get a day off either. You want a fancy bronze hat? you got to work for it in life. Uh, where are these meteors going to end up? Because we've expanded even more since the last meteor strike. No, I don't think I like that at all, actually. Oh, my things. Oh, for God's sake, please be careful. It's okay, it's fine. Everything's fine. Good. Good. Arcadius himself has blessed your marriage. So incredibly low energy. <laughs> what a dick. Oh, you hurt his feelings. Poor Mayor Ohm, he couldn't even defend himself. I hope one day Ohm gets the ability to sort. I already, I already want to find out what's going on in that head of his. And as a brief recap. We are currently in the Industrial Age. Getting, getting just kind of started with the Industrial Age, really. We do have the option to build a multi-analyzer, which I think is probably going to be what we do today. See if we can get a big chunk of the Industrial Age research through. Phoebe Chillax is our current storyteller, uh, despite the fact that we did get a friggin' meteor dropped on our base. And yesterday, of course, we built the legendary Copper City with all of its legendary furniture, and our colony wealth has been absolutely destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> I put the finishing touches on the things that we were missing, the dining room tables. I set the workroom up. Thank you, Om. But I'm debating whether or not we even need it at this point. A bare skin doormat legendary. Real, that's, that's great. I feel like things like the crafting station we're probably not going to need anymore, right? The, the kind of medieval and tribal crafting zones. How much power have we got in the grid? 170 watts excess. What, with all of this stuff linked up? That doesn't seem right. Wow. Yeah, even though we've got five steam boilers outputting 1,200 watts apiece, and then these steam collectors are up here and up here, we actually don't really have that much energy to spare. We might want to see if we can do something better about the power then immediately. Uh, we do have a chem fuel pump, but we do have a chem fuel spot right there. We'd have to remove one of the walls of the recreation room. We could do something with that. Or we throw down a multi-analyzer, and we see if we can get some weird power. Now, the industrial era doesn't really have a huge amount going for it. It's not that much of a dramatic change from base game remote. It's really the spacer and the architect that's got a huge amount of the content. But even if we could get deep oil, big deep oil, that would be quite nice to upgrade from purely steam power to. And I think all we need is the ground penetrating scanner research and we're good. Oh, and someone in the comments yesterday came up with this really great idea for a ritual for Clan Arcadius. And right now, there are there are crafting clan, right? Herky Jerk, you might remember, as a child, hated crafting, but over the course of his lifetime here, 95 and is basically permanently bedridden, unfortunately. 15.44 crafting. Arcadius was a great crafter. Hanky Pank was a great crafter. And his successor, Octavius, see him on the list, is also going to be a great... I mean, he's already got 18.75 crafting. The guy's only 28. Now, given that we've got this crafting clan, we have a, a, a god kicking around that we can use to bless our colonists to craft better things. So somebody came up with the idea of sacrificing... It's pretty dark. Sacrificing the previous leader of... The Arcadius Dynasty, in this case Herky Jerky, to Zer to give the next one the power of Zer, the same as what Ohm has. That way they could they could die knowing that they've done something great for their dynasty. Because right now Herky Jerky is quite literally lying in a dark, dirty hospital room, just kind of degrading. And to be honest, he's probably gonna die soon. His lungs about to give out, his brain is not doing so well, spine's gone, arm and legs gone, his heart's about to blow up. I think Herky Jerky would be fine with it. We're talking about a guy who hated crafting, but knew he had to do that for his dynasty and stepped up to the plate. Oh, what is this? Corrupted Raiders? Members of the Alliance of Hinthium have heard about your colonists performing Zer's blessing ritual and believe it to be the highest form of heresy? One of the Raiders is so obsessed and infuriated they've lost their minds and a hellbent on sorcery in your colonists at any cost. These outlanders have Xur's corruption. They move faster, hit harder, and carry unique, powerful weapons. Upon death, they, unleave a, they unleash a wave of pure hatred that will paralyze all nearby people and cause a large mood debuff. You should focus on taking these people out at a distance. Oh, well, thank you for that. The corrupted raiders are lumpy. Oh my god, they're coming in in drop pods too. The Alliance of Hinthium. 
Oh, there's three groups of them. Wow, this is going to be our first proper challenge, I think. Six up there. Six down there. And I'm assuming... Seven over here. Brilliant. Okay. You must be lumpy then. They've got friggin' charge rifles? Since when is that industrial era? <laughs> okay. Well, this is going to be a challenge then, home. No pressure. We've got cataphract armor. A person got cataphract armor and a biocoded plasma sword. What is this shield belt that you've got, though? Arcotech shield belts. That's not, that's not industrial, chief. Lumpy, there he is. Cursed Kopesh. Riot armor. Whoa. Wait, we do have a way to take people out at a distance. We have Romulus. Romulus being the apparently immortal magic wielding madman. I love that we've got all of these people who did like very debatable things. Arcadius, for example, had a lot of children and had an annoying voice and for some reason gets to be worshipped. Yet stood right here is a guy who can call down lightning bolts and doesn't die. <laughs> we, might have to, we might have to upgrade Romulus. Why are you glowing with like that? Is, that? is that just to show that he is... Zer's corruption. There it is. His mind has been twisted by Zer. An obsession or hatred of robbery around the machine god Zer has led this individual to madness. Whoa. Do you think we could capture this guy? Romulus, let's see how much of uh, let's see how much of a god you might potentially be. Get him. Oh shit. Well, <laughs> I was, I was expecting so much more. I won't lie to you. Romulus, I just batted him away like he was a fly. Okay, uh, thank you, Romulus. You can come back now. <laughs> Hang on. Reviving touch works now. It's been fixed. We could revive him and capture him. Oh, that'd be kind of high tier. Oh, is that the psychic? There it was. That was the psychic wave then. Okay, so they're going to sap through our defenses. We've got that group down there. These guys are coming over, but they'll probably just come straight through the front gate. It's the most convenient way to get over here, right? Hold the line. Hold the center. Bizarrely enough, the person I'm most concerned about is Ohm at this point. He's not wearing any gear that would really help him defend from charge rifles. To be fair, I also wasn't expecting to fight charge rifles at this point. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, you hide in there. Hold the door. We need to get into places where we can kind of bait them in. You stand there. You can hold this door. Helveticus. God damn, thank God for that weapon being deflective. We need them to come and attack us. They need to they need to get up close. Kipos, Kipos, maybe get into some cover there, pal. Ah! So to steal what they can and leave. I would appreciate it if you really they're taking the curse. They sent a child soldier. Twelve year old. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You kill them. Bare minimum. Behead. Kippos? Kill. Let's take two of you and go and fight this person. I am not at all happy about fighting Arco shielding cataphract people. We're definitely outclassed here. Barnabas? Hold the line. See, I'll maybe go cut, cut off... Wait, I thought I said incapable. Then I was about to say, what the hell is wrong with you? You come up here, hold the door. Get in there. Oh my god. Oh my god, the charge shotgun. I'm not a fan. Go. Okay, you come up here, reinforce. Romulus is just like going for it. He, d he gives no shits anymore. He's in. Is he going to be able to catch them though? Go and behead that child. Oh, they're doing a great job. Is he sent you without any armor? That seems incredibly cruel. <laughs> You're wearing a pigskin tank top and that's all. You guys are going to say search and destroy. Because that entire top group has already been wiped out. Good work. Search and destroy. I don't think we're going to get out of this without taking any... Oh, they've already dealt with it over there too. Man, you guys are fast, eh? They're carrying away an entire arc reactor. With the exception of Ohm, I'm going to say search and destroy. The castle ruins 
are going to be so fucking good for us to be fighting people like this through, though. Because they can't get line of sight. We come around the corner and we can... I mean, yeah, we can do that. That's exactly what I was going to say. The other group is sapping through down towards the south. Let's send Octavius. Let's send... Give me these guys. Let's bring a group of six down here. You know what? We'll just take all of them. Right, come down here. I'll let these guys chase the stragglers. If they can catch them, great. Oh, I think they've got them. Great work. Quite a nice little bonus to us there with them stealing our things and not being able to fight back. That was that was that was a pretty poor idea from their part. What in the fuck are you doing with that bed? <laughs> hey, put that back. Ciala, what the fuck is wrong with you? Get him. I actually like I, uh, kill him. He's walking away with all of our legendary beds. Romulus, do something. It's a freaking legendary four poster bed. Thank you. Good lord. Is that difficult? They're in. They're in. Octavius is around the corner ready to get him, though. Charge rifles are a bit pointless when they're in such close quarters, eh? This castle has worked out so nicely. Octavius doesn't give a fuck. Goodbye. Oh, this is great. Oh, this is so good. If we get a siege, though, things might be... <laughs> ah, things might be a little bit harder, I won't lie. Outstanding. You're all, you're all psychopaths. We do have one survivor. He's not very good. I think we'll take Ohm. We'll put Ohm on a full meditate schedule again. Is everybody okay, actually? Before I get too distracted, is everybody fine? Uh, they look okay. What did you... You got took a few bruises there. That's all right. Man, this armor is quite powerful, like this steam armor. Then if it can take bruises from charge weaponry. We're very fortunate that we didn't actually get that much damage from the charge weaponry. Shot in the leg. Ooh, damn. One shot did take out half of Dranmir's leg. Couple of cuts from a plasma saw, but nothing really to worry about. Yeah, honestly, they're fine. We're going to take poor little corrupted Lumpy and put them on ice. And then when Ohm's got enough meditation power, we'll resurrect him and see if we can get him in as a recruit. In the meantime, we're going to have to focus on trying to restore Herky Jerky so that we can sacrifice him up to Zer if possible. Even with... So I've given him a new leg there, but even with that, I still think he's going to find it difficult to move. We've still got a little bit of anesthetic to worry about there, but it's his heart more than anything else. Brass ticker is only 75% efficiency. I'm going to get Herky Jerk's son Octavius to make him a new heart, but we'll we'll go for the full-blown steam-powered heart then. It might be what we need to get him back up. Or, or, we'll just buy more friggin' insects again. Oh, Wow. I told you that colony wealth was going to be a problem. Ah. <laughs> uh. No. No. No, thank you. I mean, look, if we can survive charged shotguns, what are a bunch of insects going to do to us? There's not that many. There's only 37 mega spiders, 50 spellipedes, and 24 mega scarabs. I'm going to take a group of people who aren't injured, and we'll just, we'll just hot gates it. We'll just stand at the entrance, and we'll just let them come to us. Okay, Romulus, let's get a little bit of aggro here going, friend. Kapow. Okay, well, that's gonna... That's gonna be a disaster. <laughs> gonna bring you in there to reinforce. Let's bring you here. Here they come. Holy crap. This is another full-on invasion, for God's sake. Well, that was, um, that was quite impressive, actually. Do we have any stragglers? Uh, yeah, a bunch on the other side of the wall that will send them to uh, search and destroy, I think. Oh, we're taking too long. Herky Jerky's getting even worse. How is the heart coming? Where's Octavius? Octavius, Octavius. No, no, no. You need to stop fighting the bugs. Hey, in theory, this should now work. Oh, is he back? There you go. It's fine now. Lumpy. <laughs> Recruitment chance, 98%. That's fine. Uh, 27 resistance remaining. Holy crap. Only 175 on the slave price. Why? They're not a bad character at all. Zest corruption is... Oh, general labor speed minus 75% is um pretty horrible. But the melee hit chance, the move speed. This guy's like a little torpedo for us would be insane. I love the idea. Of having this guy as a dedicated colony cleaner. He's full of hatred and he moves fast. But he can't really do regular jobs at any speed. 
That could be incredible. What are they running away? What have you... Was a sleeping mega spider and you're afraid of it? For God's sake, just go and behead the damn thing. Thank you. Oh, Octavius, no food, no rest, no recreation. But this is this is for his father. This is for Herky Jerky. This will give him the greatest honor he's ever going to have in life. Sacrifice dessert to make the next generation stronger. Okay, the heart is done. Now what we need is somebody capable of actually installing the thing. It would be better for him to do it. We don't have that luxury right now. Nice. Okay, he's absolutely fine. We'll see how he's looking after the anesthetic is worn off. He still has problems with his back and his leg and his brain and his spine. Oh, wow. He's so dedicated. He worked himself to extreme malnutrition. What a guy. And we also have new lovers, Worcester sauce and Beckle Peckle. That's Worcester sauce, gravy plasma and Beckle Peckle. Peckle Pepper Stasius, just as a reminder. I'm not even kidding. They've spent the best part of a week now trying to haul these items over. This might sound completely mad, but bear in mind our obnoxious wealth graph, and we've got the mine set up, and we've got the quarry right next to a mountain, so we can build in theory as many quarries as we want. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna hit the destroy button. In the time it takes him to haul all that stuff over, we could just mine it all fresh again. Wow, you guys uh, really move fast, eh? <laughs> <laughs> Good work. And happy birthday, old man Savat. Age 109. Brilliant. Hey, Pank has given birth. Now, and if these old people would do us a favor and all horribly die? Uh, Pank, I've got to ask a question. I think you can kind of tell what that question is. Damn it, I forgot to build children's beds. Uh, don't tell me. I'll find it somewhere here. Crib, 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 crib. Age matters 2.0. Is that, is that fine? Is that good? There we go. Just had to roll around on the floor for a few hours before we built it in a crib. <laughs> Sister Lister Gravy Plasma. What an incredible name. The name is slightly longer. I'm not going to say the full name because uh, I'd rather my channel didn't get banned. But I've mentioned it before, so I'm sure you know. And apparently we've just got like the ancestral weapon of the Arcadius Dynasty lying around in the stockpile. Octavius, come grab this. Herky Jerky can't use it anymore, so I guess it, it defaults to Octavius now, eh? Tiny child Billy Bonts, you can have the Mercenary Club. Then we also have a Fragment Axe as well. Is that Panks? Bare Minimum? No, Bare Minimum has a weapon. I guess it must be... No, Pank had a Katana. Ah, uh, well, we've got a spare axe. Fine, the baby can have it. <laughs> Lumpy has gone berserk. The final straw was Zer's Corruption. Oh, is it a mood effect? Ah, uh, minus 50. How are we going to keep you happy enough to make you useful? Because as far as melee characters go, you could be really, really good here. Oh, please don't kill him. Okay, let's swap to, swap to fists. Can we get some backup here too? Really should probably take that armor off of him next time, eh? <laughs> hey, there we go. Right, I'll be taking that if that's all right. And then you can go back to prison. It's going to have to be the drugs. We're just going to have to keep him absolutely baked with the solar blossoms. Even then, it's not a minus 50. But between that, the lavish meals, the actually incredible bedrooms. Why don't we finally take a look at the research then? We've got the multi-analyzer built. They've just got enough gold for that. We've got hydroponics, industrial props, makeshift weapons. Is there any melee in that? No. Or geothermal power. We've already got geothermal power, essentially. So pff, hydroponics are a bit crap too, aren't they? We don't need that right now. For sure we don't need that. None of these even lead into anything else. And to be honest, industrial props is going to keep popping up until we've done it. It's a weird choice, but we're just going to go for that. Oh! Old Man Sabat is finally gone. Heart attack at 110. Holy crap. I never thought he was going to die. Who's going to hold the funeral procession? Omen's still out for the count. Thank you, Romulus. Goodbye, Sabat. 110. I hope they don't all start living to 110, because that's going to make things really, really difficult. What the hell is even that? Build gas converters to synthesize mechalic materials by combining other materials with N16 gas. Let's cut it right up. Leads to autonomous furniture, tray mats, synthesis, and mechanites? Because it's a gas converter. I have absolutely no idea what this is. Or we go for drug production. Or printing. Oh, man, this is hard. I, I have never seen this mod before. We could do this and go completely into the unknown. So far, with the exception of the Clockwork stuff and Rimforge, I've kind of known everything about what's going on. This one, though? Oh, I have no clue. There are these things on the map, aren't there? Yeah, these things right here. Ancient boreholes, which allow us to extract N16 gas for a steel? 
I guess for the for the kind of drill head. We can claim it. It is 400 watts power it needs though. And I mean, we are already powering it. It's already connected. So we might as well use the bloody thing. We have Luciferium. That would be a, a much cheaper way to restore Herky Jerky. He's a body purist, so he's not going to be happy about it. But I think it's probably fair to say he's not particularly happy where he is right now anyway. We've just got to hope that the Luciferium kicks in before oh, an instant heart explosion does. <laughs> Wait a minute. Hang on. There's no wonder we've got so many people who are unhappy. Look at this. The hobo. What are you doing? Husband. Cousin once removed. Helviticus. Best friend. Lover. Cousin. Octavius. Lover. Romulus. We're going to need a bigger bed. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. Ohm's finally back upon his feet. Well, there's the gas converter. Let's see if we can figure out how this works. What else have we got here? Oh, just straight fabrication. Oh, that'd be an insane first step in industry. I'll just go ahead and throw that down in here, I suppose. Oh, weird. So it's an alternate way to get chem fuel for the time being. One steel makes 10 gas and 69 work. Nice. Then for the equivalent of 8 steel and 15 eftem, which you make up here, you get 30 chem fuel. And to make 50 eftem, you need 20 steel, 15 blocks. It's not a bad conversion if you have a shitload of steel. Holy crap, the hobo is pregnant. What a weird thing to say. <laughs> the question is, who's the father? Octavius. Oh. Then again, I could have probably figured that out just by looking in the room. I'd have been more surprised if it was the Hobo and Octavius in bed and then Romulus was the father. That'd be, that'd be way weirder. Oh, he's back up. I didn't even bloody notice. Herky Jerky's back up. And he's back working immediately. They just don't make them like they used to. Kids these days don't have the same work ethic. We did pretty much have to turn him entirely into clockwork here. So he's got two clockwork legs, a steam heart, a leather lung, and a steamwork spine. Still problems with his arm, brain, lower back, and left arm. We have the Luciferium. Oh my god, the anesthetic's still wearing off as well. He's going to be a lot better than he was. So in theory, we should now be able to use him as the sacrifice for Zer. The greatest honor he could ever expect. Oh, marriage. Wow. Having a party just before we sacrifice old man Arcadia, eh? Backup pack will propose a lifelong commitment to Worcester Sauce. Oh, it's lovely. Well, here we are. This might seem like a sad day. But Herky Jerky is happy and proud that he can be serving his dynasty, even in death. I hope you're watching, Arcadius, because this is... This is very weird. We are very esoteric with our religion at this point. Start the ritual. The generosity of the machine gun is not to be taken lightly. The ritual has already been performed once before. Attempting to perform the ritual again will incur the wrath of Zer. There is a 26% chance of failure. Well. I mean, you're telling me there's a chance, though. Proceed with the ritual. Herky Jerky is sacrificed and his power becomes Octavius's power. Poor Lumpy. Poor Lumpy. Corrupted by Zer probably hates this. Did it work? Was it a success? Herky Jerky has been sacrificed. Ah, oh, we got it. Blessing of Zer. Herky Jerky, as a direct descendant of Arcadius and previous leader of Clan Arcadius, of course, gets to be put in the magical tomb of Arcadius. Thank you, Herky Jerky. What a great sacrifice you've made for your dynasty. And the best part is we're just about to finish fabrication. So having an incredibly good crafter is going to be... It's going to be insane. Octavius is only 31. He has 19.11 crafting and now the Blessing of Zer too. I don't know how we're going to go up from this. I don't know how the dynasty is going to do even better than what they've got right now. Maybe if we manage to get the printing press tech, and maybe if we make a legendary crafting book. And I wonder if, I, I assume it would, the, 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 the Blessing of Zer should make it easier to get a legendary crafting book, right? But now there's a big side effect we've got to consider. If we have multiple colony members in the colony with the Blessing of Zer, it seems to make it less likely to succeed, right? We've now got two people looking to make a third when we want to transfer Octavius' power to his descendant. And that was a 27% chance of failure with that one. So with potentially two people and trying for a third, it could be, it could be a complete disaster. And I mean, especially if it still sacrifices Octavius but fails to transfer the power over. What if it kills the next guy as well? We could be wiping out a whole dynasty just by trying to get the blessings of a maybe not so benevolent god. Please tell me the tiny baby can equip. Damn it. Capable of violence. 
I have to put home on research. We've got one of the best crafters we're ever going to have in the entire game. Ready and waiting. Let's get fabrication as soon as possible. Aha, there we go. You now have the technology to build a fabrication bench. It requires some advanced components to get started. Given the amount of mechanoids we've taken out, I think we're probably good. Yeah, we're actually fine. So I think we're going to say goodbye to the armorsmithing table. And we're going to swap that out for a full-on fabrication bench. We need 40 glass. Oh, shit. How is it we make glass again? Please tell me we can make an electric smelter at this stage. Surely we can. There we are. Wait, I don't remember it being that expensive. Is that the right type of glass? Well, I guess we'll find out. There we go. I never thought I'd regret destroying all of that sand, but here we are. One fabrication bench. The real question is, what the hell have we got to work with? Because we are using so many mods in this mod pack that I've never seen before. What the hell is a jump pack spine? <laughs> swarm wrist? An artificial hand with a built-in single use missile swarm. Of course. Corinthian heavy sword. Like a... A space attack long sword made of plasteel. Oh, I thought you were referring to a sword used by the Corinthians, because that would be a little, little, little dissonant to get that now. We can make a bunch of robots, which I won't be doing, because I don't want the game to catch fire. Flamer wrist. Is that a firearm? I mean, literally, it is a firearm. Oh, and then we can make modern exoskeleton frames rather than the steam ones. Okay, that could be a good first call. Move speed, carry capacity, global work speed. Well, we can make some weird things. I mean, the jump pack spine is incredible if that... I mean, that would be insane. You get a mechanoid raid coming in, you get a siege. You have all of our melee characters just jump packing in with a jetpack they've got in their back. That could be a rite of passage for joining the colony. Jetpack spines for everyone. Chem fuel, advanced components. We can't make advanced components yet. We don't have... We don't have advanced fabrication. We can actually consistently make components now, which is nice. We do need a little bit more glass, but we could also go for biofuel refinery as well. So that way we can work on our jump spines let's start moving out some of this old technology even the clockwork stuff at this point is gonna start to get outpaced i think let's move it back up into what was the old recreation area now I'm looking through our production tab here because we're in the industrial age right i figured there are a few things that we can upgrade anyway the hand tailor bench to an electric tailor bench there is one thing however we have never actually used and i don't think that even at this point it's outpaced yet and that's the Ancestral Forge. Now, this thing I've had in a few series, and I've never been able to use it because it requires an inspiration to use. Another child. I'm all right with it. I'm, I'm fine because we're going to start losing a lot of colonists very soon because they're getting, like, insanely old. Can you people wait, like, five minutes so I can move the baby first? So, at the Ancestral Sword, we can craft Cloud Sword, Nightfall, Executioner, Deathbringer, and Red Queen, all of which have these weird side effects. This one sets people on fire. Deathbringer causes heavy bleeding. Executioner cuts through things. I mean, it is a sword. The real problem is they're not stuffable. So compared to the adamantium weapons, they might be a little weak. But I think this one, like, for example, gets to cut through multiple enemies. So that in the hands of somebody with very, very high melee could still be really, really devastating. Like, for example, when Ohm was surrounded by 50 insects. I mean, that would have been, that would have been insane to see. Tina's long forgotten tomb might contain Archaeotech artifacts. I don't know if we'd be able to use some of them yet, but wow, it's really not that far away. Mayor Ohm, pack your things. And why not? Let's do a little bit more research while Ohm is away. So we have tray mats, power props, batteries, or kitchen props. Um, what is a tray mat? A unique material designed to help train pawns as this material is cheap to make, hard to use, and almost completely worthless. Ah, oh, good. Finally, the comment section of Rim Rimworld. Training material. Train map for short is a material designed and created for the sole purpose of training artisans and architects. Oh. Finishing a project with it is almost impossible. That's really, really cool. And in the right situation, would be better than using books as education because the books, they'll just read in the recreation time, right? You can't set it as a as a work type, quote unquote. But with this, you just say, you, you set up a job for someone. You say only use tray mat as the material and you set the job restricted to them and just have them do that all day whenever they can. Wow, create a gas converter. Ah, I can't believe we don't have batteries yet. And I can't believe we've just got the plague. I think I'm going to go tray mats, though. Let's go for it. Okay, so the plague reminds me of another, uh, another thing that we really should have done a very long time ago. It's only Jester, but this is a good sign that we should be upgrading the hospital. Now, we don't have any of the traditional rimworld things to build a hospital out of, right? We don't have hospital beds, wells, monitors, that type of thing. But we do have operating theater table, operating theater notes, carbolic acid sprayer. 
We need carbolic acid. I don't know where we get that from, but I'm sure we can work it out. This wouldn't be a bad idea. Um, oh, silk. How do we make silk? I still don't think I've found out how we do that. What? Ruby synthesizer. Whoa. We can make rubies? Oh my god, imagine replacing all the floors in the base with just pure rubies. How many... Fill, fill all the old houses with ruby synthesizers. <laughs> There's also synthesizers for sapphire, sulfur, and nitre. Uh, I mean, sapphire would, would fit the theme a little bit better. But rubies is rubies. Before we get too distracted with our ridiculous amount of wealth. Hello. Silk, silk, silk. How do we get silk? Uh, first thing, I'll also cue this up as well. Oh, we need psychoid, you fool. We've got a load of the uh, solar blossoms, but none of the main ingredient. Brilliant. How on earth do we make silk? Dye silk. No, I don't need to dye silk. I need to grow silk. I need to live silk. I wonder if we literally grow silk. Wow, who could have possibly seen that coming? <laughs> <laughs> well, then I hate to say it for the time being. This is the best hospital we could probably get. We could replace some of the floors with, say, uh, silver floors, something like that. What are you building there, little Octavius? Oh, an exoskeleton frame. Hey, I'm all right with that. That's absolutely fine. So I did queue this up. I didn't think we had the resources for it yet, though. So an advanced commander 25 plasteel. Okay, we're now out of plasteel, so enjoy it while it lasts. He is going to make it just about. And here we are. Tina's tomb. I haven't seen very much at Tina's tomb. Um... Let's take this carefully. Ohm is one of our only unarmored people. Arguably, he was the worst person to send on a tomb expedition. There's nothing here. Tina, you, uh, you've bamboozled me. We have an ancient danger. Uh, I mean, Ohm is probably capable of killing them. It's whether they're capable of killing Ohm. Uh, I'm not even sure I know what that is. Gamma wolf droid. Hello. A wolf-shaped droid can equip single-use weapons. What is that? A bundling blaster. Oh. Uh, um, I, I say let's sidestep that. Let them come out here, and then we kill them. Or we just hope that he's capable of deflecting it. Ah, it's a bit of a gamble, though. Here it comes, here it comes, here it comes. Kill! Yes! Oh my god, it's not... Well, you see that? It didn't take any damage for the first few hits. That was a bit concerning. Back off. And go. Nice. Good work, good work. And then we've got a flame bot, which I'm hoping we can just kind of scooch in there and take out. Mjolnir Strike Targeter. Psychic Cornucopia. Arcotech Teleporter. Hello. Teleports up to 500 kilograms of mass from one place to another on the planet. Oh. So if we find some... Can we teleport people? What if we crack all these open and teleport them straight to the prison? That would be a big brain play. You know, I'm getting the... Strangest deja vu. Did we not do exactly this at the very start of the game? Tina. 33 silver. This was a terrible tomb. I guess we'll go crack open the other one as well then, eh? Why the hell not at this point? Yeah, I'm well aware it's an ancient danger. Please be careful. Okay. You traitor. There's a clockwork bear in there. Oh my god, it looks incredible. <laughs> it's a shame we're gonna have to slice it to pieces because it looks incredible. Okay, okay, let's uh let's position just kind of right here. <laughs> that should be fine. Watch out for the flame bot. Oh, don't light fire to his top hat. It's so fancy. Goodbye, clockwork bear. I'm sorry it had to end like this. And we're good. Energy cells. Weaponized germ engineering. Is that a firearm? We can fire. No, that's the wrong word for it. There's no fire involved. We can launch germs from plague lesions on our bodies. Is that a firearm? <laughs> oh, and the four advanced components are cross great because we're making exoskeletons. Psychic terror pulsar. Good. And more energy cells. Oh boy, I don't know if we can even use that, can we? I think it goes against the rules. Well, let's go ahead and crack these open with... Some caution. Hello. I like Nado. Uh, and fees a coffee. Okay. Okay. It's dead volcano. That's a bit of a shame. You know I have to see if it's possible to teleport all these people across the map, right? Let's put down just a bunch of sleeping spots. Capture them all. Patch them up. Teleport them back. We'll decide if we want them or whether we just want to turn them into, well, leather again. I think that's the first group 
relatively safe. And behind door number two. Ah, shit. Um, Boomer. What have you got there? Advanced flux rifle. I don't like the sound of that, actually. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna walk away. Like, actually, please walk away, though. My God. Get him. If any survive, we'll take them. Otherwise, I'm sorry. I, I can't gamble this. What the hell have they dropped there? Advanced flux medicine. Manufactured by Flux Tech. It contains advanced nanobots that can help heal from every injury way faster than before. Sure. Why not? We'll take that with us. We just got Lawson to deal with. Lawson, you could have just come peacefully. Whoa, 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 whoa. Did I see that right? Octavius, where are you? What? Where is it? Where did it go? He made, I think. There it is. Legendary exoskeleton frame. What a guy. And you can absolutely equip that one. That one's yours. You can wear it over the steam-powered armor. Oh, wow. That's huge. It's utility layer, right? So we can't use shields or anything with it, but... Wow, that's actually really, really good. And there's our tray mat too. Oh my god. Oh, oh no. <laughs> I have never seen animal migration into mad animals before. 42 very angry cobra. Romulus, deal with it. I'm sure he'll be fine, right? They're actually getting a lot of bites in. Oh, poor Romulus. Oh, the cobra invasion. They're absolutely everywhere. I mean, cobras aren't going to get through steam-powered armor. That's ridiculous. They have. They have. Are you okay? You could just need tending. How's Romulus doing? Toxic buildup. Okay, he's all right. Wait, what? Your caravan has been detected in 3.5 days. Reinforcing mechanoids from Alphox Mechive will begin arriving in the area. I'm sure Rome can have everything hauled over by then. Don't worry. Oh. Well, then mine turns out we can't use it anyway. <laughs> Yeah. All right. Yeah, why not? <laughs> steam engine straight to nuclear reactor. I mean, when you think about it, a nuclear reactor was just a big steam engine anyway. Jester died? What? Jester. When did Jester die? If you're wondering, we went to Cassandra and then immediately right back to Phoebe again, so I didn't even think to mention it. Ah, uh, I got no notification that Jester had died. From the fucking plague? Oh my god. Wait, what? I wonder if it's when we were out caravanning. Oh, that's such a shame. I knew not having a good hospital would screw us, but... Don't consume Jester. Bury Jester, for God's sake. Goodbye, little Jester. Wow. I, I mean, that's such a shame. Well, my wife might have just died of the plague, but... It's time to move on. You gotta get over these things. Two days later. Thank you all for watching. What a bizarre episode. Wow. I hope it wasn't too terrible. Like I said, I am ill right now. So, um, it's been uh, challenging. I feel like I'm going to pass out any minute. Uh, so thank you for bearing with me. Tomorrow we'll be back to normal. I hope. Otherwise, that's going to be a real pain in the ass, isn't it? Thank you to Low Res Quail. Joseph Stalin, the cum stallion. <laughs> Asana Kirito. Francisco. Kyle. I am Sagatair, Orcs Chops, Dan, Punky Roo, Voodoo Mumbo, Spooty, Spooky Booty Banger, Waffles and Whiskey, TG Taps, Chris Schenk, and Gordy Number One for their support, the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Thank you guys for making the channel possible. Thank you for bearing with me over today. Uh, hopefully not tomorrow, but maybe tomorrow as well. Thank you as well to Seppi141, Blue Chaos, Ben Ice Cream, Redeemer50288, This Flex, Avolka, Astro Boogie, Tofu10, Shittle Dirt. <laughs> Super Nanny 089, Catlord, Proximity Jones, Astro, Corrupt Racer, and Edgemere.